The Australian bush is the best place to live in the world. It's home to some of the most genuine and down-to-earth people you can find. It's a great place to raise a family and there is community spirit that is so special and unlike any other. The decision to live here comes with its challenges and often they are totally outside of our control. We all know there are frightening statistics out there around the prevalence of mental illness and high risk of suicide in those living in farming communities. Human beings are herd animals and they have a basic need to feel a sense of belonging and connection. So although there are efficiencies gained from improvements to technology and increasing farm size, that's great for the bottom line, but what about the soul? This is why Active Farmers began. It was designed to bring the community together every week to do some exercise, but also catch up just like you would in any ordinary team sport. You know, quite often in the agricultural industry, our farmers work long hours. They can go quite long periods of time without seeing each other or catching up with their mates. So knowing that they can take some time out to come and do a fitness class once or twice a week gives them that reason to come together and, and have a catch up. And whilst our focus really is on fitness, um, behind the scenes, they're getting those mental health benefits as well. One of the greatest things for Active Farms for me is actually being involved with the community at a more social level. They're just there to work themselves, have a bit of a laugh and fun and keep the body active, but also just keep themselves aware of what's going on in their local neighbourhood. The whole getting together as a community and the social interaction coming together, you've got the, the husbands, the wives, the kids. It might be someone that you haven't seen for three or four months and then all of a sudden they've come to a class and you do your class and then you have a chat afterwards. There's a whole bonding thing and it's, it's awesome. I just love um, what this does for my own individual community. I just think it's really great to have something that's um, health focused um, as a way to bring the community together and yeah it's just a really great way to catch up and and look after each other and, and have those conversations to make sure everyone's going well and getting a bit of fitness on the side as well. It doesn't matter your level of fitness and that's a really important message I think too for people who might be thinking of joining a group. It, um, it caters for all levels of fitness and you can do whatever it is that you're comfortable doing. So you're really trying to better yourself. The social side of Active Farmers is probably um, more important than the physical side so definitely the catch ups before and after a session is um, is what most people would come for, I'd say. Everyone loves the, the group fitness. There's a lot of retired footy players that haven't done much since they retired. It's amazing what people get out of it. The catching up is the bigger part of the, the program rather than the physical activity. For me, it's mixing with people I wouldn't normally interact with and just seeing those friendships develop and people become more confident, really look for that social interaction and hopefully we're getting a bit fitter in the process as well, so that's, um, that's all really good reasons to be part of it. We watch out for each other a little differently than we would have if we hadn't been meeting every week. So I think we've got each other's back in a different way. So across Australia, Active Farmers um, has access and utilises um, some fantastic um, local halls, tennis courts, ovals, whatever it is, they're fantastic for training. Our vision today remains the same as it did on day one, and that is to build stronger and more resilient farming communities. We really want to make a difference to the physical and mental health and try to save more lives for the people who matter and are responsible for feeding and clothing our country and the world. It's also important for people to understand that we're a not-for-profit charity. We work really hard to raise funds and seek sponsorship. We try so hard to put those funds back into the communities that we are um, supporting and nurturing. We've been supporting uh, Ginny and Active Farmers for four years now and uh, it's been a wonderful journey for us to be involved. Our company is all about investing in regional communities. For us really we, we just thought what a great initiative to support to, uh, to create more resilient communities out there and to, to add value to uh, health and wellbeing. The Active Farmers has grown enormously um, over the years and we're just so grateful for all the sponsors um, and all the volunteers. There's a lot of, a lot of behind the scenes work. Um, that goes on with the events that happen around Australia. Active Farmers has continued to grow and evolve and we now include a number of really exciting events such as the Active Farmers Games, 
the Ride for Resilience fundraising bike ride and our Run for Resilience events. Something to your body there, but yeah, you definitely go home feeling more outgoing and happier and I reckon that's one of the biggest things of it is go back feeling fresh and frees you up for work a bit, it definitely pays off, yeah. I mean, I just notice um, amongst my clients is, you know, from when they arrive at class and when they finish, you know, you can just see more energy there, they're smiling, um, they're more chatty, it's, it's really great to see. Although we have come a long way, there is still more work to be done. We cannot rest on our laurels. We need to continue to fundraise and we need to continue to find more trainers so that we can continue to grow and help more farming communities. And we need your help to do that. Look, I just congratulate Ginny and, and the committee and uh, all the volunteers and trainers. I think, you know, what they're doing is absolutely phenomenal. I've got no doubt that lives are being saved around the country and communities are stronger and more resilient because of this initiative. And we're very proud to be associated with Active Farmers.